What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Miss H.A. Double, back with another boxing prediction. Who better than me? I got it. And we got the Floyd Mayweather, Marcos Maidana, part two. That's right, Floyd Mayweather versus Marcos Maidana, part two. Now, before I go any further, please do not take anything personal that I'm about to say in this video. It's just a matter of my opinion. A matter of my opinion. So, with that being said, let's get right to it. Now, the first fight when the two faced each other, there was some... It was a lot of controversy behind it. You know, some felt as though uh, Marcos Maidana did enough to win. Some felt as though Floyd did enough to win. Some felt as though Floyd won by a landslide. It was a lot easier than what it looked. Some even felt as though it was a draw. My opinion, I felt as though Floyd won. Uh, he did enough to win. And a lot of the shots that Maidana was throwing, you know, it looked, it looked like he was actually landing. Don't get me wrong, he did land some shots. It looked like he was landing, but in all reality, he actually really wasn't. You know, it was just, he was just, you know, just throwing away and, you know, just kind of, you know, brawling and trying to do whatever he, he could to uh, devour Floyd. But that's Madonna's game. You know, he's a brawler. He's going to get in there. He's going to punch until he can get you out of there. Uh, I thought Floyd did a good job with sticking to the basics. Um I thought that he mixed it up a little bit more than he uh, he he usually does in in most of his fights, but I do not think this time around Floyd will fight him the same. I think that Floyd's gonna stay on the outside, uh, pot shot him, lead right, lead left, uppercuts. You know he's gonna touch the body a little bit to get him to put them hands down, but I really don't think it's gonna be too much different than the first fight. Uh, I think Floyd will win a little uh, easier than what he did. The first time. I really don't think he's going to take that risk of jumping out there with Madonna and, um, you know, trying to mix it up with him because the first time, you know, he actually could have got, you know, seriously hurt fighting him that way. So I really don't think that he'll take the risk of fighting Madonna the same way he fought him the first time. I, there are some people who feel like this fight is useless. Some, uh, there are a lot of you out there that really feel like this fight is useless. And I understand it. You know, I understand where you're coming from. There's no hard feelings about that. But the reason why Floyd has to fight Madonna again, because he stood on national television and told the world that he would fight him again. You know, now a lot of the Argentinian fans feel like the fight that Madonna won. So therefore, from Floyd's perspective, why not give him another shot? If you felt as though he did enough and he actually, in all reality, won the first fight, then why not give him another shot? So I get it. I understand that. But, and if Floyd had never fought him, if it, Floyd didn't give him uh, a chance at the second fight, he would never be able to live that down. Not that he cares, but, you know, people would say, oh, you, 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 you dodged the bullet the first time against Madonna, but, and you were scared to give him a second fight. So why not give him a second fight? Um, no discredit to either fighter. I'm a diehard Floyd fan. I am a diehard Floyd Mayweather fan. Call me what you want. Call it what you want. Um, I just like good boxing, and I like the way that he fights. There's been some of you that say, oh, Floyd is don't knock nobody out. You're not going to see a knockout in every fight. Now, I think I speak for all of us when I say, who don't like to see a good knockdown, drag out, you know, uh, brawl, where it's bloodshed, and, you know, guys are trading shots in a phone booth. I mean, just nonstop. I think I speak for all of us when I say that, but every fight is not going to uh, play out that way. You know, you got guys that fight smart. You got guys that uh, they use the ring, their ring generalship. You know, uh, they use their skill. They, some guys just basically try to use their speed. Uh, some guys try to, to basically just use their power. Uh, a lot of guys try to use their defense and try to counter a lot. Um, so this fight is a must. It's, it's, it's a must that Floyd fights him. There are some of you that say, why don't Floyd give Canelo Alvarez another shot? Maybe so. Who knows? Uh, only time will tell that. There are some of you that say Floyd should move up and wait. Honestly, that's a matter of your, your opinion, you know, and we all, we can only respect that. But I really don't think that Floyd is going to take that risk. That's too risk taken at this point in his career. Now, some say, well, Bernard Hopkins is 50 years old. But if you really look at it, Bernard Hopkins is not fighting anybody that would cause him any type of imminent danger. It's, it's, he's fighting a bunch of gym rats, guys that he knows he can beat. But not, trust me, behind the scenes, this is a lot that we don't see. Bernard Hopkins is, is choosing his opponents very wisely. 
You know, I, I, now he'll fight. He, you know, he would like to fight the likes of Adonis Stevenson. Now he would, uh, like to fight maybe, uh, somebody like, a uh, 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 I don't know, uh, uh, maybe Chad Dawson again, who knows if anybody wants to see that, but I don't think he wants to get in there and mix it up with somebody like, uh, an Andre Ward or a real legit, uh, heavyweight contender. I think he's going to uh, stick to fighting the, you know, these Asian guys or guys you never heard of, as I said before, gym rats and tomato cans. But, hey, if, if, if that's what he do, what you can do, do whatever you got to do to make your money. And if it means you can still pull off these fights where at 50 years old, you're fighting these guys that uh, nobody's ever heard of and really not going to present any kind of problems for you, then by all means, do so. But to get back to this video. Madonna and uh, Mayweather part two. I really don't think that you guys are going to see anything too much different than the first fight. I think that Mayweather is just going to stay on the outside and uh, box him a lot more and do what a lot of people feel as though is running. Uh, but I just, I, I, I really don't see uh, the fight being too much different. Now, in, in Madonna's defense, I think that Garcia and Madonna and them are going to attack uh they're going to be even more aggressive this time. I think they're going to be even more aggressive this time. I think it'll be legit, but I think it's going to be even more uh, aggressive this time. I think everybody's going to be watching the referees and stuff. They're going to be, you know, they're going to be on it, you know, because of all the controversy from the first fight. But my prediction is Floyd wins by a decision. Uh, Madonna will win some rounds, but I just think that overall Floyd is too fast for him, too quick for him. His, uh, his foot move, his lateral foot movement is just too much for uh Madonna to contend with. I think it's uh, uh another fight another fight in the bag for Floyd. I think it's a payday for Floyd and it's a payday for Madonna. So both sides come out happy. After that, uh who knows, sky's the limit as to what these fighters do, who their next opponents are after that. Uh Floyd, I don't really see Floyd, Floyd fighting anybody, you know, I don't see him fighting a Keith Thurman. I would be very surprised if he fought a likes of a Keith Thurman. Not that he's scared. I just don't see that happening. You know, uh, Floyd is about, he about being about business, man. And me, once again, I think I speak for all of us when I say this. The days of good fights seem like they're gone. Honestly, the days of good fights seem like they're gone. The days of your, your Hagler, Hearns, Hearns and Leonard, Leonard, uh, 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 uh Hagler, um, you just, it, 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 you get my drift. You understand what I, you, you guys out there in the boxing world know what I'm talking about when I say that. Uh, just, there aren't any really good fights anymore. They're mixing up these, 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 these BS fights, man. And that's why a lot of it, now me personally, that's why I said I would never, ever, 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 ever pay for another fight again until they, you know, stop making some, mixing up some legit fights. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, making some legit fights. Not, not, stop giving us this rubbish, this BS and expecting us to go and pay our hard earned bread out of our pocket. You know what I'm saying? For, 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 for a BS fight, fight that goes one round or, or, or some type of, it's just too much. And I'm not spending my hard earned bread for that. But there are some of you that feel as though, hey, I will. You ain't got to spend your money, but I will. But nevertheless, I think Floyd wins this fight by decision, kill all that noise about Floyd knocking somebody out, man, because he ain't knocking nobody out. If anything, if anybody's going to get knocked out, uh, it would be uh, Madonna knocking Floyd out because I feel as though Madonna is uh, much stronger than Floyd, and he has a better chance of knocking Floyd out than what Floyd does. Floyd is just a, a systematic puncher. He chops you down, chops you down, and just, you know, just cruises to a victory through the scorecards. Uh, but he better get out of the way of one of Madonna's punches, he, uh, which – which I think that he will, he'll be able to, but he don't want to get into a chess match with him, man. That boy is too strong, too powerful. But nevertheless, it's your boy, Mr. H-A-Double. You can find my page at, you. it's at Buka Bear, excuse me. Mm. It's at Buka Bear, B-O-O-C-A-B-E-A-R. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I just got a Twitter too, but bear with me because I just got that and I really don't have it, figured it out and understand it just yet. That's just me. I'm, you know, I'm not really a social media guy. But uh, my Twitter page is double 36 or double 36 double. You can find me on there. Leave me a message, man. Follow me. Uh, I also have other videos on YouTube too, prank videos. But my main thing is boxing wrap ups. All right. So until the next boxing prediction, boxing wrap up, it's your boy, Miss H.A. Double. Yell at y'all. I'm out.